Hey again guys, back with you for another update to my football shirt collection. I have a nice short stack for you today. Uh, recently been to the World Cup, so there's a few jerseys in there from that tournament. Uh, a, f a couple of uh, well, second hand, actually just this one's second hand. And um, the one at the very back, which we'll get down to, is is has a really nice story to it, so let's get going. We have 2006 Argentina home shirt. Of course, the home shirt had this classic uh, sky blue and white, very similar to a lot of the, the cut for Adidas during that, during that tournament, 2006 World Cup. Um, Japan had a similar one. Germany had a similar one uh, in terms of like this sort of arch here, tapers out to the sides. And still remember when Germany played Argentina in that, that World Cup as well, that was a instant classic. Speaking of an instant classic, we have Nigeria home. This is just fire. I mean, um, quick story on this one. Found actually at the Moscow Fan Fest uh, fan shop. Went in, my friend JC encouraged me to get it. Not that I need too much encouragement, but you know, uh, I didn't want like this impulse buy. Bought it, wore it, went back in uh, after watching a game on the big screen. Somebody was asked, uh, said, saw, my, saw, saw the jersey on me and said, oh, where, where'd you get it? I said, oh, it's right here. Took him around the corner in the fan shop. Gone. All of them sold out. So no real surprises there. No name and number on the back. Same with the Argentina jersey I just showed you. But man, this, this got a lot of attention during the World Cup. I got interviewed from Super Sports South Africa. Um, Battle Box, Nigeria, all different uh, media outlets, news, everyone interviewing me wearing that jersey because it's just incredible. Uh, team, I'm trying to make these segues here. Team is looking to make an incredible run. At least they started off well against Argentina. I was actually at the Argentina Iceland game. Um, is this Iceland jersey? Uh, how I can relate to it? Being from Hawaii, living in Hawaii. Um, you know, we have a whole volcano situation going out on out there. So we have this this whole fire lava on the sleeves here. So definitely appreciation for Iceland and just the connection with nature and those natural elements and letting you know who's really in control, right? Um but yeah, really, really solid jersey here. A lot of fakes out there with the area and you the the fake ones don't have the little slice through the 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 top right corner of the A there, so it's something to look out for. Um, so sort of felt shiny felt design here. We have authentic all everything here. Uh, no name number on the back, but we do have the flag. Very cool. All right, we have Senegal. Honestly, the year is not coming to me right now. I was looking out for one that had the. The tree, so it was like the I think it's the baobab tree on it. I still like to pick up one of those. And the first thing I noticed was it's kind of like this double layer here, and I thought this was like a missed stitch. Um, but I looked it up. I got this brand new from uh, classicfootballshirts.com. It said brand new in bag. Certainly was brand new when I got it. I'm like, oh, should it be like that? But it it is. I'm not sure really the function behind that. I had to easily take it off or something. But um, anyway. Looking at some of the insignia here, Federation, Senegalese to football, have the Puma here. Um, really, yeah, really nice one more of this um, in the World Cup when Senegal played Poland. Senegal fans, the rhythms they had in the stadium was really impressive. So definitely get behind African football with the Senegal top. And then finally, as promised, something really, really special here. Um, one place I actually went to over the summer was Azerbaijan and... I ended up visiting the training grounds and training with and being with the um, uh, Sabao Football Club. So Sabao, I wouldn't call it an upstart team, but they, they're, they're two years, established two years and then the top flight of the Topaz Premier League in Azerbaijan. They are a team in Baku, uh, the capital. And so yeah, was visited the, the ground and then the uh the whole whole team showed up and a lovely guy showed me around all facilities and he actually gave me a I'm not sure it was a, a match used game used but a former jersey from um who sets clouds day i know he's a georgian player defender i believe he's right back um but yeah this is this is 
up there the most basically cherished uh, football shirts I have in my collection now. This is really, 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 I must say rare, um, but definitely special because of how I was uh, looked after my time time uh, spending the, the afternoon and the evening with the club. So really, really nice one here, Sab Sabayo. So their, their season's getting, uh, they're in pre-season training now, I believe in Turkey, and then they're going to get things underway. So um, definitely, definitely feel a part of that team now by, by having this this shared experience with them so um but that wraps it up uh may have some more soon um but we'll see what i come up with all right thanks for watching